Hello everyone and welcome to a Dragon Ball Fighters video. Today we're gonna show you guys uh, s uh, some of the Halloween goodies. Uh, so first we're gonna unlock everything. We're talking about lobby character stamps, uh, character colors, everything, everything. So let's unlock everything and then we'll show you what's new here. So overall, that was around 260,000 zenny, along with, I want to say, 250 premium coins. I don't know, I might have lost count there. Uh, so let's start by showing you some of the new lobby characters. So the new ones are all the way at the bottom, and you've got four colors for each one of them. So starting here with Vegeta. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like the red one a lot. Uh, perfect cell, uh, wrapped up as a mummy is one of my favorites, absolutely. Color one is one, hands down, my favorite one of all of these. Witch Kid Boo! Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, I think his laughter really fits uh, the vibe of a witch, if you ask me. Frankenstein's monster, Android 16, I wish this was an in-game skin, I honestly do. Like, it doesn't even seem like that much work, it's not that different from the original model, so just... Let's make it happen, Arxis. Uh, we got furry uh, Goku right here. I believe color four here is uh, Sonic Fox's colors. So uh, good on them for recognizing one of the best Dragon Ball Fighters players uh, in the entire world. Beerus, pumpkin head. Uh, <laughs> it's just funny stuff all around. Uh, I'm gonna go perfect cell because that's probably my favorite of, of the bunch. Uh, stamps wise, we have. Uh, I can show you stamps this way, it's probably easier. Okay, so these uh, last ones are the Halloween stamps, starting here for uh, Furry Goku, right there. Uh, then we have Vampire Vegeta pointing at his face, all cocky and stuff. Ha <laughs> ha! Witch Kid Boo pointing at you, all menacingly. I don't think Beerus likes the pumpkin hat, to be honest. He seems a bit mad about it. I don't like this stamp of 16 because it's literally, they just took his lobby character, turned it like sideways a little bit, took a screenshot, cropped it, and put it here as a stamp. Like all the others at least had some minor work, at least changing poses or stuff. This stamp got no work whatsoever. Uh, same for the cell because they just, you know, put the, the reaction thing on his forehead and also same for, for beer. So like these three stamps. I mean, they made they put in some work to make the the actual lobby characters, but then turning them into stamps seems like the most lazy thing ever. Anyway, moving on, Android Twenty One, all purple. She went trick or treating, got a muffin. Uh, this guy also went trick or treating, of course. Uh, we expect that of Majin Buu, and uh, Gotenks is very happy, very happy about his uh, his pumpkin. I said it before, and I'll say it again. If uh, we could have Gotenks do his level 3 super and instead of a volleyball he gets a pumpkin for a Halloween special, that would be so, so, so great. So awesome. And, uh, oh, Team Gohan doesn't know what to do with this much candy. Hmm. Bummer. Uh, along with uh, this update, we also got a bunch of titles. Here is the full list of titles that we got. So there you go. Uh, if you uh, want some some cool titles for your for your character for your player card, uh, now uh, now you have some more options. Along with that, you also have new backgrounds for the player card, which honestly has been a long time coming. We've we've had these backgrounds for a very very long time. Uh, so now having new stuff is so 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 welcome. Uh, it's only these four colors right here. Uh, you've got some ghosts uh, and uh, in, in, in these four colors. That's pretty much it. I like the yellow a lot, and uh, I've been thinking of changing my header for a while. Kid Boo will always be in my heart, so let's do that. So with all of that, all that's left is to show you guys uh, the new character colors. So we're going to go here into training mode, and we're going to look at all of them. Every single character in the roster got a new color. It's color 13. Uh, at this time, Android 17 and Cooler are still locked, so we can't check if they have new colors. Uh, but for now, here is Goku, Tien, and Yamcha rocking their, uh, their Halloween colors. There's gonna be a lot of purple, a lot of, uh, orange as well. Uh, it starts out good, decent, definitely. Uh, Gohan, Krillin, and Super Saiyan Goku. I really like that Gohan, and I really like this Goku a lot. Krillin, I could take him or leave him. Uh, then we have Frieza 18 and Kid Buu, and I believe you've seen uh, Kid Buu in a previous screenshot. 18, I like her a lot. Frieza is just weird. 
Uh, Kid Buu is also a little bit weird. I'll admit that. Next, Ginyu, Nappa, Face Vegeta. I really like Nappa and Ginyu here. The, the extravagant colors really fit their personalities. Vegeta, not so much, but still, I, I still think it's a good look on him. Moving on to Bardock, Goku, and Trunks. That Bardock armor is just... It's too bright. I don't like it at all. Uh, the Goku with the black and orange is the same as Super Saiyan Goku. And Trunks, I actually kind of dig the look on him uh, with these colors, definitely. Next up, we got Vegeta Beerus Cell. Beerus is, I believe, the only one rocking pink, pink pants uh, for this Halloween stuff. Uh, Cell looks really, really good. Vegeta, I really like the purple, but if you ask me, Vegeta's color 7 is still the best. Next up, we got Android 16, Vegeta again, and Broly, and we have to change the order because every time Broly's in a team, he just covers the rest of the roster. So, uh, let's do it like this. Okay, Broly, I love it. 16, love it. Vegeta, same as previous. You know, it's the purple, which looks good on Vegeta, but I still think color 7 is his best color. Next up, Vegito, Gotenks, Piccolo. We got an orange Vegito, an orange Piccolo, and uh, Gotenks' color actually looks decent. And that's something that bothers me with Gotenks as a Gotenks main. I always have trouble color coordinating him with other characters because I don't think colors on Gotenks look particularly good. So I'm happy that this color at least looks decent. Next up, Team Gohan, Android 21, and Majin Buu. Uh, Team Gohan is just orange with a purple belt. It's uh, nothing special, but it, it's not a bad look at all. Uh, Majin Buu, it's... yeah, okay. I don't like those pants, but uh, it's it's an okay color. And Android 21 is looking dashing as always. And finally, we have Hit, Goku Black, and Zamasu. Hit looks such a badass with that black coat, orange uh, underpants, and undershirt. Uh, Goku Black, not really a fan, but Zamasu, I think that style really, really fits him. Of course, that's only my opinion. Uh, you guys rock what you like, and uh, I think that's just awesome like every single character got a brand new color for this halloween event i think this just opens the doors now to a ton of possibilities for seasonal events in the future very very excited to see what dragon ball fighters becomes from here on out now this patch brought a couple of other updates a couple of changes to to some mechanics namely on ranked and casual matches now you can rematch for as many times as you want which sounds like the perfect way to just boost yourself in ranked matches because i mean you create a fake account on a second console and you just rematch that person over and over until you are a living legend speaking of living legend there are also brand new ranks uh, that uh, you can achieve in ranked matches and also when you are paired up with a partner the name no longer shows up it shows the number of followers and uh, the match completion which uh, honestly I'm okay with that change you know you don't want to reject a match just because oh I heard this guy strong but you you, you want to look at the stats and be like I don't want to play this guy because he doesn't finish his matches easier to see whether or not uh, the guy is a rage quitter the way you gain BP on ranked has also been tweaked, but uh, I still haven't checked how, how if those changes are good or not. But for now, that's uh, the video I brought for you guys today. It's uh, a bunch of skins, a bunch of lobby characters. I love this update. I really, really do. And I can't wait to get my hands on the new characters, of course. But even without the characters, this update is very, very solid. So, if you've been thinking of uh, getting back to Dragon Ball Fighters, now might be a good time. There's a ton of stuff to unlock. If you've got a ton of unspent zenny like I did, it's a good time to buy some uh, capsules, for sure. All the videos on our channel are bush-powered. Head over to Patreon, find out how you can help out, just like these top supporters on the left but as always thank you very much for watching my name is Blobku and I'll see you guys next time boy